I played through Star Tropics last year, one and two, and you could say that those games were inspired by by Zelda, but it'd be kind of hard pressed to call those Zelda likes, you know. As long as the game is kind of like close, I'm all right with it. As long as it's close, as long as you can see some sort of like inspiration in the game that would make you go, yeah, all right. They definitely took something from Zelda. I'm good. Like Knighton, that 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 like little game that we played the other day last week. That one you could tell was that this week? Was that like Monday? Knighton, that was just a dungeon crawler. Like it was just a straight up dungeon crawler, but it certainly was inspired by Zelda for sure. You know, it had that top-down dungeon combat, but it had more, like, puzzling and stuff going on in it than most Zelda games did. As long as it's close enough, I'm good with it. As long as it's close enough. Alright. Let's check it out. Player select. Yamato. Azume. Hinomi. What? There's three characters? Uh, Yamato. She's got a big-ass sword. Let's go with her. O oh, child of the transient world. Abrupt though this may be, thou art summoned now to the realm of the dead. Thou should know that the gates connecting thine transient world in our realm of the dead hath been sealed by demons. What's up, Nate? How you doing, homie? Happy... Friday. Friday. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing Peachy, dude. We just beat uh, World to the West, and now we're starting up a brand new game, which is super exciting. I love starting up new games. There's, I don't know that there is much more thrilling than firing up a new game. You play a game and you're like, oh, okay, I experienced this, but it's like unwrapping a present, you know? Like on Christmas Day, like ripping open a present and like finding out what a new game is all about. It's always exciting. It's always exciting. Sometimes I dread firing up new games. But most of the time, like Crash Bandicoot, like, I don't want to fire that up. I dread that. But like almost any other new game, I'm just like, oh, 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 let's play it. Let's play it. It's so exciting. Have you, uh, how goes uh, The Last of Us Part 2, dude? How's that going? If this goes on, thine transient world will become rulist by said demons and humans will be led down the path to destruction. Before you is the Imperial Regalia, the Blade of Kusanagi. This weapon has been granted to thee because amongst the Shrine Maidens you hold a special power. Yeah, give me that sword. Dude, I got horns now. Hear my words, O oh child of the Transient Realm. Become the Kamiko, who will vanquish the demons and release the seal on the gate between worlds. I want to vanquish some demons. Hell yeah, Forest of Awakening. It's going pretty well. You're on the way to the hospital. Oh, shit. So, uh, you found Tommy now, right? Dude, the, these look just like the creatures in uh, Faerun. Those look just like the creatures in Faerun. Is this done by the same developers that did Faerun? Because this looks just like it. looks I mean it's not identical but
<laughs> you found Jesse, though. Ah, Jesse. Our buddy, our homie. Uh. Is that not what I was supposed to do with it? Ah! First time I ever took damage in my entire life in a video game. Wow, it feels bad to do that. I see. I'm hurt, game. I see. I'm gonna game over, and it won't be my fault. that game. I don't know what these little point things do, but we got them. Yup. Now I got health. Back up, son. God gaming coming in. Bash these plebs. You hit me with some shit! The stupid beaver! Hey, dumbass beaver tore me a new butthole. Ah. Uh, questions? That's a key. That was a key. I knew this. over here. Why can't I get in there?
lies. I can go where I want, when I want, how I want. How do I get in there? I demand the knowledge of the gods. Oh, okay. Another orb. I got a box. What do I do with the orb, though? I don't know what... I don't know what we do with these things. Easy mode baby game. We have accomplished the accomplishments. I don't know what this thing is below my gate. You are died, good sir. You are died. Oh, it's kind of like currency. I'm paying to open the treasure chest with a currency. I get it now. Okay, I am, uh, smart now. I am now what the world likes to refer to as smart. I have conquered stupid and gained knowledge. So the enemies give us monies, so we are paying to unlock these shrines with the monies that we have acquired. I don't know where the thing is that had this stuff. Hey, where where am I headed? Was was goal? This ah this very good very good. 
simple. That was hard. That was a very, uh, very hard. Oh, they just gonna give me that shit? It's just free? They're just like, here you go, here's free? You have acquired free? Alright. I'm down with uh, the acquisition of free. Free's one of my favorite acquisitions. Oh, I'm gonna die. The crystal ball went into the... Okay. Okay. Hit every time. And I got hit every time. What was that? Hot jabroni sauce. to move out of the way faster than that it doesn't seem too difficult now that i you know know what i'm doing Potatoes, man. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have stood a little further away from it. Maybe I should have stood a little further away. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
It's really awkward. I mean, I'm assuming I'm on the last phase when I'm doing this. Dude. He stopped right... <laughs> Like a pixel away. Raw. It's just a little awkward, that's all. It's just a little awkward. Sunken relics. Let's go south. Let's not go south. Let's go west. This does look a lot like Faerun. I'm not saying it's Faerun, but this looks a lot like Faerun. It's just now we actually get to hit buttons, which is cool. I like hitting buttons. Hitting buttons is kind of a um, jam, but it looks like they're reusing assets from that game in this one. Like these tiles look a lot like the ones in Faerun. I paid fifty dollars for this orb. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> hell yeah! I didn't die. 
Can we accomplish orb placing? That's what I'm talking about. I see you treasure chest in the building. I see you. Don't think I don't see you there. Look at all sexy and treasury. Oh, we will fondle you. More health? Shut the front door. You love health. Uh... I need a key, though. We need some hot, hot, and impressive key action. Bubbles. We, we don't play that game. You get me with your bubble butts, your bubble breaths. What, right, dude? I just want to switch that. Like, allows me to get beyond here. Oh shit, it's timed. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, bro, I'm not that fast. Ain't nobody that fast. You don't have to be hand man the speed clam. No speed clam. dollars what are we getting a cube i want a cube no the cube cubits Assuming everything? This game got me assuming? A key? We're about to bring this key. I'm about to get died. What I'm about to do. Could do that. Uh huh. I got eyes. I got eyes like the man's got spaghetti. Get you out of here. Get you out of here. 
what is that gonna do? Oh, I thought we needed like the orb thing to use the warp thing. I better back up. Spending all this cashola. These big dollars. trying to, since we played World of the West, I keep trying to move the screen with my with my right stick, and you can't do that in this game. That's not a thing you can do. Like, so I could see further. See more. See more butts. That's what we was doing. We were on Mount Bootyheim. Y'all gotta stop warping me places and shit. <laughs> I keep accidentally walking on this stuff. I'm a walk on. Okay, well, once you pay your monies, you never have to pay them again, so that's good. You know what? They don't make you double dip. The dippage has not been doubled. I think we got a health, and we got a, uh, a money upgrade already. I don't think we're gonna get another one here. I think we've peaked. I think we've peaked. I don't know where I'm going. Nope, 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 no, nope. nope. $269? We ruined it. I think $275 is the most that I can have, right? Ah, here we are. Yeah, this is more kind of like just hack and slash level base stuff. Not so much uh dungeon crawl. I guess they're like everything's a dungeon here. It's just hack and slash dungeon crawl. Here's a dungeon, here's a dungeon, here's a dungeon. And those each give you 25. I got you. I'm assuming this is going to be a really, really quick game here. It looks like Bomberman, but it's not Bomberman. All right, what's the gimmick here? Ah. Uh. Okay, not cool. God, just warp.
Oh shit. Like, first try? That boss was easier than the last one. Why couldn't have that been the first boss? <laughs> The Scorching Labyrinth. I like the music. Oh, okay, I'm done. Ow! How dare you attack me, your lord and savior. The loveliest of lovelies. Okay, I am heaven incarnate, and you all should worship me and buy me peanuts. Daryl, did you say peanuts? No, peanuts. Pee peanuts. Hmm? Gotta pay monies to go through the door. It's just like real life. More monies. Alright, we're $25 richer. Cool. Alright, I guess we have to warp over there. Nice. You try to block me in, tear me down. You can't tear me. Me, the winner of all things beaver down. All right, what do we get for 25? An orb? We'll put the orb down for now. I want to get... Oh, it's just right here. Okay. Give me orb. Orb go here. More dollars for the door. That stupid switch. Show you woke her. Uh, okay, I did it. Just had to sprint real hard, real fast, and they can't even touch you. It's amazing. And and you gotta scream when you do it. That was our first one, damn. Okay, I did it. Easy. Shredded. Starched. Torched. Glunched. Punched. Munched. Cruncha muncha. Oh, we need a key to get through that one. Oh. Yeah, we don't have a key. you money for your $50. Oh shit, okay.
I don't know how I didn't get hit. What's up, half eaten? Ah, okay, I did it. What'd you do, boss? What'd you do? You did it? Like sex? Wow. I always wondered what it would be like. Happy Friday, homie. Oh, you were quoting me. Ah. No, I didn't do it. Oh, I'm not allowed to. Mother would be very ashamed of me. And the music is a bopper, Smoke. The music is a bopper, that's for sure. When you ran across them and, and like, slammed my face into literally every projectile? Yeah. Those good times. I remember that. Like, it was just two minutes ago. How's your Friday, uh, Happy? Hope you're doing well. It's a lovely day. That was the first time I got hit by one of those. Alright, we need help. They're sapping my, my life essence. My booty juice. Oh, no! Booty juice, my turpentine, my drinking wine. Yeah, yeah, you told me that you rolled your ankle, man. I'm sorry, that sucks. You shouldn't do that. My advice to you is you shouldn't do that. Take it to heart, you know? It's good advice. You might not get advice like that from other people, but, you know, I care. So, yeah, don't do that. Oh, I opened the door, but we never did that. I got this. We're running! Scam. Scam. Every time you look down, you see your toes, they look like plums and grapes. To be fair, I like both plums and grapes. So, neat. You got plum grape toes. It's an amazing thing that you've done. Damn, those just for more health? Where the hell's progress? <laughs> Uh-oh. Rolling your ankle and hurting your back on a big Friday? I know, like, what are you going to do on the weekend? How are you going to have... How are you going to do it? How are you going to do, you know... It? <laughs> you, you know? Like, that makes it kind of hard to do... Uh, it. I personally would be quite uh, confused and flummoxed as to how it is going to get done. It being, you know, whatever you have to do. Fraudulent? Who's fraudulent? We're injured brothers. I'd still do it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you would, dirty burger. Uh... We need another treasure chest. I need to open up that door up there, I guess. How do we... I see you, chest. I am lost? As long as the ground beef 
is already thawed. It should be fine. Don't look at my toes, baby. Too late. I already made eye contact with the toes. And they taste worse than normal feet. Toe on toe contact. You ever hold toes, hold feet? You can hold hands, you can hold toes. You ever intertwine your toes with somebody else's toes? It's a weird and gross sensation. Hey baby, wanna hold toes? No, you freak! Yeah. No one wants to hold toes with me. made the mistake of showing this Latino why you were out of work and she was about to faint. Hey baby, check why I can't go to work. Blech. And then she threw up on your feet and you found a new kink you never knew you had. Oh my god, I want this. <laughs> Spicy. No, no, it's acidic. Not, not spicy. Acidic. aren't paying my dividends. We gotta get this big bush deal. Create an excuse for us to talk, though? Hey, you wanna check out my fucked up foot? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Oh, God. Hey, baby, do you wanna see an open scar? You ever shown someone your old bullet wound? You are gross. Yeah. Wanna see a dead body? Dude, this isn't, uh... This isn't Stand By Me. I think we're almost out of here. I'm just gonna ignore you, and I'm gonna ignore you, and I'm just gonna go stand in the light. Alright, more monies. Oh, more monies. And more health. Maybe one or two more areas? I gotta imagine we're, like, close to finishing this off. Ooh. Uh-oh. Is it gonna spin? It looks like it- oh, it's just gonna crap out babies. God, double the babies? 
And they make laser beams! Now show me your feet. <laughs> no, I think we've seen enough feet for one day. <laughs> that was enough feet. The ruins of Yama... I can't pronounce that. That went away too quickly, too. Yama Takao. Yawana Takao. Hey, cool, a bus. Oh, dude, they got, they got, uh, they're Ninja Turtles. Ah, the green one's super powerful. Nice derelict bus. <laughs> that reminds me, um, when my niece show feet. What's up, K.O. Gortra? How you doing, homie? Um, my niece, uh, she, uh, kind of slow on, uh, like, speaking, and, uh, <laughs> her, her first word, I don't know if it was her first word, but it was one of her first words, and this is the only thing that she would ever say is, like, we would be driving around, and, you know, we would point things out to her and stuff like that, and eventually she started saying bus, but she would literally point to everything and go, bus, and, like, shake her head in affirmation. She would just point to shit and be like, bus, bus, <laughs> just, just everything, bus, bus. She would point to people and be like, bus, <laughs> like, no, Jessica, that's not a bus. That's, that's not a bus. That's a people. That's grandpa. Bus. <laughs> she thinks she's saying it. She's not. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay. So this is a list. I'll read you off the list. We're not just going to read one thing here. Does the submissive consent to bondage with rope? Bondage with leather cuffs, bondage with handcuffs, shackles, manacles, bondage with tape, bondage with <gasps> other. There you go. There you go. There you go. No, no, she was on to something. Damn, that was probably the best one. Yeah. That was a good one. I agree with that. That was a good one. Did that guy shoot stuff at me? I didn't like that. A vending machine? I'm gonna get so many candies. That's not candy. Give me some candy. Oh, nice. Alright, there's our... Okay, we have to lower the, the roadblock. I got you. Dude, I love these guys and their bandanas. It's my, it might be my fave. They're so adorable, I just want to eat them. Oh, that was bad. No, do this. Yeah, that's good. What's this? An orb or fuck? Oh, 
Okay, so you you definitely can't go that way. That's that's a big no-no, bro, bro. Got you. No way we can go that way. Oh, but I did this now, though. Right into my dick. Bondage with other, please? I know, right? I don't know what other is, but maybe you could, like, tie someone up with, um, penis. Erotic. Hide book from mom. <gasps> Mom's the one that gave me the book. You watched Mother Android in the menu today. I've never heard of Mother slash Android. What did you think of the menu there, K.O. Gortrout? What did you think of it? Oh, God, there was nowhere I could go. I was... I was impeded. You enjoyed it? You're a moron. I can't respect you anymore. Ha! <laughs> it was so bad! Alright, what'd you like about it? Aside from Anya Taylor-Joy, is that why you liked it? Because there was, there was a very attractive woman in it. Uh, oh god. That doesn't make things good. You can't like things I don't like, alright? That's, that's the rules of life. You have to like everything I like. Oh, it was so bad. You like rich people go bye-bye? I like rich people go bye-bye, I guess, but that doesn't mean the movie's good. The- my biggest problem was the movie tried to... I guess... show up pretension, you know, the whole, like, critic movie foodie thing, but at the same time... It itself was also being sort of pretentious, and it really, really bothered me that it got, like, diluted by its own fucking message within itself. And I was like, yeah, I don't like it when movies do that. Like, it fell into its own trap. And that, to me, is bothersome. It's it's being a bit hypocritical, and that, that usually bothers me. Like, it's cool. I'm down with making fun of foodies and shit. No fan of that, but I don't- I don't like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh... That whole thing with- that whole, like, sp It's not the- it's not the main st I guess it is the main story of... Anya Taylor-Joy and her being the only one that can find the thing that gives him some happiness and so she gets to live at the end of the- it- Mm-mm. 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 No, sir. No, sir. Oh, that was way simpler than I thought it was gonna be. No. 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 It had its own pretentious stuff in there, and I'm just... I am... I'm not a fan. Um... I am not a fan. They should have... Honestly? Honestly, what that movie should have been? It just should have been over-the-top silly and stupid. And... I don't know if everything in that was supposed to be as humor as it was, but I found... The way it was done was what was pretentious. The way it was done. In most movies you'd go, okay, that's fine, but it was the processes and steps and how it was presented that made it that way. It should have... It should have played down a lot more than it did. 
I think it should have been a schlocky movie versus this thing taking it way too seriously. It took itself way too seriously. It was like, I am presenting this movie to you. Hmm, hmm. I liked a lot of the writing. I liked a lot of the writing. Like the way some of the characters were. I liked a lot of that. But it thought it, that movie itself thought that it was king shit. Everything about that made it go, I am the cock of the wall. You should all adhere to me. These are the rules that I set for you to follow. It was just, it itself was a very pretentious affair. The entire thing was. It's supposed to be presenting the pretentiousness that is the foodie, but it itself was being pretentious in its own presentation. So it kind of, it kind of loses its own message. Interesting idea. It needed to not take itself so seriously. For what it was doing, it needed to be way more... I, I don't think campy is the right thing, but... It needed a dose of something else. It needed to lighten itself up. Because that movie is, like, bordering on the edge of satire. Bordering on it. It just doesn't go for it. It's trying to set itself apart from certain conventions, and it falls just right in the smack of them. It bothered me. It bothered me a lot. Yeah, I like Ray Fines. I thought most of the people acted fine. Like, I hated the shit out of Anya Taylor Joy's boyfriend from, like, the jump. I was just like, oh. Oh, I hate this human being. I hate this human being so much right now. And you're supposed to. You're supposed to. I'm okay with that. That's, that's exactly how you were supposed to feel, so... Oh my god, man, those things just charge right at you. Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. It liked the smell of its own shit. It basked in its own shit. I like the clash between Anya and Elsa being representatives of inner class hostility. Who was... who... who was Elsa? Which one was Elsa? Oh! Oh, you mean the... Yeah, that whole... The... the hostess... That whole shit was fucking trite as fuck. Oh my god. The 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 fact that Ray Fines smelled the stank of working class on her is so shitty and cliche. Oh, that bothered me so much. That bothered he was just like, oh. You're a prostitute, I know, because I also work in the service industry. Give me a fucking break. Oh, that kind of stuff just bothers the hell. It's not well written. Oh, that shit just... Mm. Mm. Mm, no. Just... All of that is just... No. Big ol' no from me, dog. Big ol' no from me. Mm -mm. I don't, I, I like the idea of, like, the class war, warfare is a, such a terrible way to say it. The disjointedness in class. 
You know, the idea that that rich people get to, and they touched on those subjects, you know, and I, that's, that was the point. It just, it, it did it very ham-fistedly. And it thought very highly of itself while it was doing it. It did it in a very sloppy way, but it presented itself as though it's like, high class, and I just don't, don't, just, I just don't agree with the way that it was done. I think you can do that much better. It has been done better. going the right way oh come on okay we got to clear everything in here we can't have stuff in here that all needs to clear out Oof. this is hard that is a lot of stuff I I'm gonna be honest, like, it made no sense why that woman went after her and tried to kill her. The hostess. Like, that just comes out of the fucking left field. It's like, I'm not gonna let you replace me? Like, that whole thing is just a giant what-the-fuck moment. Like, that didn't need to happen. You could've, you could've... I am sure that there is a rationale for it being there, but that did not need to happen. Like, there was zero... I felt like it didn't add anything. Oh, my God. Oh! 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 oh. What do you mean that's huge? It, you could have left it. No, it's not. No, it's not. You might have thought that it was huge because the movie wanted you to think it was, but that was not a huge moment whatsoever. I don't think it presented what you thought it presented. The, the menu is maybe one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Maybe. Like, it's, it's, it's bad, bad. Like, bad, bad. You know, it's trying to make fun of bougie shit while it itself is bougie shit. I don't know, man. To me, that kind of, that kind of style of storytelling just doesn't work. You can't, you can't be what you're trying to mock him, you know? I mean, unless that was, like, the point of it. Like, it itself is bougie shit, but I don't think that that's what the director intended. interpret things the way we see them, I guess, you know? I think that movie thought a lot higher of itself than it needed to. It could have... could have done so much more. Very much not a fan of it. I don't know if I found the the health yet. Oh, it's timed. Ooh, ooh. 
course it is. There's our health. Okay, yeah, I guess this is gonna be the last area. Oh no. I don't wanna do it again! Okay, we did fine. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Kale Gortrout. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I think I think that's been I think a lot of people have enjoyed it. Did you say that that was done by the same dude that did Midsummer? I don't know who directed that. Was that the same person that did that? That's Ari Aster. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't, I didn't look up, I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't pay attention to the credits. I should have to see who directed it. <laughs> so I know to avoid his stuff in the future. Yeah, not everyone does perfect things. Maybe it's just a misstep, you know? I just, I wasn't a fan. Oh, right, I've got, I keep forgetting that I have the sprint button. All right. This might be the last boss. I think we're gonna get like, I don't think I can get more health than this. Yeah, it looks like the, Last bit of health. Yeah, that might be it. You mentioned you got Midsummer vibes from the ending. I thought Midsummer did a better job. What do I think it represented? Absolutely nothing. I thought it represented absolutely nothing. UC Class Warfare, I saw nothing there. I think whatever they were trying to convey there was poorly done. You know, I mean, she kind of... I, I guess in some way you could look at it and say Anya Taylor-Joy's character represented the ability to have freedom to kind of do what you want and the hostess was kind of like a slave to herself but whatever they were trying to present there i thought was done like i said very ham-fisted not well done there might have been a thought there but i felt like it was poorly done but it presented itself as though there was something epic and amazing here. That's what I'm talking about, the pre pretension there. This is supposed to be a big moment. And I felt like that entire thing was completely stupid. <laughs> this is unex- well, this is unexpected, O oh child of the transient world. Why dost thou follow God? For what reason dost thou believe in God? But you don't have to agree with me. You, you don't have to agree with me. That's perfectly fine. If you think and you say something else, by all means. By all means. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I'm just saying the way I saw things. But, but that, that movie is kind of like a perfect example of what everything that happened in that movie. Like, 
there were some things that I thought were well done. There were some things that I thought were just maybe a little too over the top. Some things were, were, were drilled into you and other things were a lot more subtle. But I think overall, a lot of what was done was handled extremely sloppily. And, and for what it was trying to do and present with the idea behind this, like, high society, bourgeoisie, foodie. This is only something the elite can experience. It itself was also, the movie itself was also presenting itself as this elite experience, this viewing experience. And the way it handled its subjects matters, I thought was really sloppy. I like the ideas behind it. I like I like Ray Fiennes. I thought he did a nice job. I don't think any of the actors themselves were bad. I mean, everybody served their purpose. The businessmen were fine. You know, the, the movie star was fine. The, the rich people were fine. But everything else was just like the main the main things that are there for shock and all fall flat. But the movie's constantly punching you in the face going, oh, oh, but isn't this important? Look at these amazing things that I'm presenting. Look at them. And then it's just, it's, you know, a... Oh. It just didn't strike home for me, you know? I'm sure other people looked at it and they were like, yes, yes, yes. I looked at it and I, I mean, I can't... I can't see it that way. Why dost thou follow God? For what reason dost thou believe in God? Thine silence is in itself an answer. I can only follow my own conviction. Now, come! All right, we got some, like, bullet hell stuff going on here. Oh, God, what are you doing? I was trying to get out of there. I kind of got myself... Caught in the corner, huh? This is cool. Oh, man. Phase two? Phase two. Oh. What am I doing? I see sword. What happened? 
I was just hitting buttons on the controller. I don't know what I'm doing. One of the video games where your fire alarm? It could have been. Thing you can do. That was a thing you can do. It costs money. The attack costs money. Splendid, O oh child of the transient world. But perhaps our battle was just another play in the hands of those who are gods. Kagor, fried potatoes and drought. Hell yeah. You tend to find meaning in little things. Often they're a stretch. There's nothing wrong with that. I, and, and a lot of the times in movies, there is meaning in a lot of little things. You look at someone like a director like Akira Kurosawa and every like every shot is meticulously done and there is genuine meaning in every single thing whether it's the character's movements or like what happens to be in the scene the way the scene is shot you know if there's wind it's blowing from right to left there's there's rain but the rain is in a very specific way you know like there's a lot of meaning that directors in people put in so it's not wrong to look for meaning in things especially in movies i tend to underanalyze things and take things more at their face value what's up adam how you doing dude happy uh happy saturday i hope life is treating you fine on this day you could go for some trout and potatoes right about now i can't tell you the last time i had some trout it's been a while i should pick up some trout i bet you it's expensive as hell 
Shit, man, I don't even eat tuna. Tuna's fucking expensive. Oh, things are going great. We, uh, we beat, uh, World to the West earlier today, and now we're playing Kamiko, which I think we just beat. It's a pretty short game. We just paid $400. Be having them potatoes, though? I'd be having me some potatoes, too. Canst thou hear my voice, O child of the transient world? Thanks to thine valiant efforts, the demons have been laid to waste, and the heavens and earth are once more connected. Listen well, child. The sound of those humans singing your praises echoes round the realm. Neat. Oh, okay, so we, like, cleaned up the world and now everyone gets to live in it. Happy, slappy, grandpappy. Yeah, not so much a Zelda-like. Not so much a Zelda-like. It's kind of just... Like a hack-and-slash game. Not so much a Zelda-like. And thus, O oh, child of the transient world... We shall leave that Imperial Regalia in your care for a while longer. As a Kamiko, thou shalt travel the world, discovering things that are as yet unknown. We too shall continue to protect this world from now on. For as long as thou and thine people of the transient world have need of our light. You wanted me to question God. How dare you? We obey him. Do I fucks with them sardines? Eh. I wouldn't go out of my way to have a sardine. I don't I don't find them I can find them a little gross. <laughs> I find them I find them a little gross. I can I can eat a sardine, but I'm not I'm not going out of my way to eat a sardine. They're extremely salty too. I don't like I don't like overly salted things. Lots of mm. I don't think you've ever had a sardine? They have an interesting uh, flavor. They have a weird mouthfeel. <laughs> they have a very weird mouthfeel. You like them more than tuna, but they cost a little more? I'd rather have tuna. I'd rather have tuna. Tuna's really good. I like tuna. A nice seared tuna. Oh. Some seared ahi is so damn good. Oh. Oh, man. That stuff is fantastic. All right, all right, this game is kind of cute. It's just a hack and slash. You know, it's fairly straightforward. It's not, you don't, it's not really Zelda-like. It's just, you got like four levels. You got a handful of bosses. You got a couple of challenges where you got to carry, you know, keys or orbs to their destination. You find, you do find pickups for health and your, your money. I mean, that's kind of similar, but you don't get any sort of like tools or anything. It's more of just like a little hack and slash. Some people, Teak was right. Some people recommended this as a uh, Zelda like, and I, don't, I didn't really see it there. It's just, it's a cute little hack and slash game. More, more, definitely more combat oriented. It's not bad. It's, it's not great either. It took 17 minutes for that first level. That was me just trying to figure stuff out. And I guess that final boss, but wasn't too bad at all. The ruins of Yamatai Koku. Yamatai Koku. Yamatai Koku. Gross. I don't want to say that word again. Hey, look, there's a question. They probably want you to beat the game as all three characters. And then it probably unlocks some shit. But I'm going to be honest. I didn't like this game enough to count a Dooku. I didn't like this game enough to want to play through that again. I'm sure I'm sure another character plays slightly differently. It's a short game. I mean, it only takes an hour, but I I Yeah, I'm sure that they are, but I think once is enough of that. We can see we can at least see what the other characters play as. The Magatama of Yasakani. 
granted to thee because amongst the shrine maidens you hold a special power. And did you do everything in the game, Teak? Thanks for the GG, Adam. And it's basically saying the same thing as last time. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. That's gotta be hard. I like the slashy slashy. You're also not, like, moving around with this character. You're... When you shoot, you're planted, and you're there for a second. That's gotta be hard mode, man. Yikes. Uh, return the title. Yes. Yeah. I don't, I don't have much of a re want to play through that again. I'm sure you unlock something at the end of it, but nah, I'm good. <laughs> I think I had my fill of Kamiko. I think I had my fill of that. It's a cute game, but I, I, I just don't think I'm in the mood. I think that's really what it is. I just don't think I'm in the mood. If I was in like a, I don't know, a different mood. I'm not like angry or anything. I'm just not in the mood to play more of that. Once was enough. <laughs> <laughs> Once was enough. The bosses were cool. And, uh, I, like, playing as the different characters obviously is going to, um... Force you to approach things in a different way. Which is, I mean, that's a cool thing to do. I just... No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm actually good. I like it when games are short. I mean, it takes an hour. I mean, it took us a little more than an hour to get through that. That's fine. And I, I wouldn't have said that it was, like, all that difficult. The final boss was a lot. I actually really liked the final boss, and I liked how they incorporated, um... I like how they incorporated all of the previous bosses into it as, like, different phases. I thought that was cool. I had no idea you had a charge-up attack. Like, at least, at least the game, if they're not gonna... Just show you what the, the mechanics are. Like, have, like, a quick little screen that shows you, like, the things that you can do in the game. I didn't know you could do that. It does say dash. I didn't realize we could dash, so we figured that out on our own. And then holding down the attack button. I guess I should have held down the attack button before to see if you could have done something like that. I just didn't think to do it. It would have been nice if it, like, mentioned something like that. And it costs money to use your special attack, but that's okay. That was fine. The, the final boss was probably the my favorite part about the game. The final boss was really cool. Really cool. His words are like some kind of incendiary device. My blood flames. That was erotic. <laughs> that was that was erotic. They even used the semicolon. Now that's pretentious. Now that is pretentious. You gonna tune into The Last of Us on Sunday? I don't really care. <laughs> I am, I've been, I feel like every video game adaptation has jaded me more and more. At some point, there is going to be an Iron Man of the video game adaptations. At some point, someone's going to hit the nail on the head as a video game adaptation. A TV show, I think, is a much better medium for video games, just because video games take out hours upon hours to beat for the most part and a lot of them not every game is story heavy but to tell a story in a video game you have much longer than you do in a movie condensing a video game into an hour and a half two hours you're losing a lot so the last of us being like a tv series has potential to do something with it they can flesh things out more they can develop characters better so it's got potential to be to be something, but my expectations are about this big, and I like Pedro Pascal. I love that dude. 
everything that I've seen him in, I've liked him in. Not to say that I've liked everything that he's been in. Wonder Woman 1984 was atrocious, but I still like Pedro Pascal. Um, I didn't like... I didn't like, uh... The Book of... The Book of Boba. That was god-awful. But I liked Pedro Pascal. The Mandalorian parts of The Book of Boba were the best parts. Yeah, Pedro's super cool. I like him a lot. But I don't have high hopes for it. Especially after what they did to The Witcher. <laughs> the Book of Boba. Wait, how does Booba work? Where's Booba? Is Booba gone? Is Booba banned? Banned Booba? Is the Booba gone? Do we no longer do Booba? What happened to Booba? Where are my Franker faces emotes? I got wide peepees. What happened to Booba? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe something happened with, um, with, uh, I don't know if that was, I think that's better Twitch. I think that's better Twitch TV. Maybe something happened there. I'll have to look into that. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know what my expectations are of, uh, 